This is Scott the Fix-It Guy. Today we have a pretty easy repair. This is on a top-loading Whirlpool washing machine. And this machine is having trouble with the water level. It tends to overfill. So you set the water level, you get it started, and it just keeps filling and filling and then overfills and water just pours out. So we're gonna take off these two trim pieces on the side. You can usually just pull them off. I had to use a little bit of a pressure with a um, standard head screwdriver to get, it, to get them off. And then I'm using a Phillips head screwdriver to undo these two screws here that are underneath the trim pieces. And these are set at about a 45 degree angle. Once you get them removed, you can easily pull the console up and out and it hinges at the top. It's pretty cool. And that allows you to get in to do a couple of the repairs. So you want to make sure it's unplugged. You hinge this up and then these two brass clips you're going to remove. We're also going to remove this little modular connector. This is for the lid switch. We take a standard head screwdriver and we're going to pry in on the front of this clip. It just comes right up. Really cool design. Same thing on this one. Just pry in. It lifts up. And now you can take the whole cabinet off. You can take the basically the whole covering of all the components. You just tilt it towards you about 45 degrees and just pull it up and lift it off to the side. And we're going to be able to now get to the water pressure hose, which just carries air from the tub up to a diaphragm switch in the console. Sometimes these get plugged. I'm just going to pull up on its connection right here on the tub. And once I get the tube out, I'm going to pull it out of its connector here and just blow in. And I should be able to hear a clicking sound up at the console. And that would be the diaphragm switch uh, being affected by the air pressure moving in and out. And a clicking sound, the switch turning on and off. And that means that the water pressure sensor switch up at the console is working correctly. And also means there's nothing blocking the airflow inside the tube. So that checked out really good. And I'm also going to take a little tool here and clean out this part that connects to the tub because sometimes detergent or dirt builds up and then the air pressure is not able to go through that tube and the machine thinks that it's not filling and it'll just keep filling and filling and filling. So the switch is designed to turn off the water at a certain level. So now I'm unhooking the tube up at the pressure switch and I'm going to hook it back up at the tub and I'm going to blow through it and you should be able to hear air flow. You should be able to notice that air flows through there and be able to actually hear it. If you can't, that means that there's still an obstruction either in this little tube or in the tub where uh, the tube connects. And if you got that clear and you can hear air flowing, and we also got that clicking sound up at the top, then you've solved the problem. And when you put it back together and test it, it should fill properly. So we're setting it for the normal starting position and we set the um, water level switch to maximum. And we're gonna just let it fill. I'm gonna keep an eye on it though because I don't want it to overfill. So it went up to the proper height and did not overfill. So the problem is solved. So pretty easy repair actually. And pretty common that the tube gets clogged with detergent, usually down at the tub. So I'm putting this case back in at about 45 degrees. I'm gonna lean it back. I'm gonna lift up the console, get it out of the way, and just lean this cabinet back into position. Pretty, pretty cool, easy design to work with. I'm gonna get the back push up against the cabinet, and then I'll put in those brass clips again. The way I put in the clips is I'll put the back part into the back plate first, and then I'm gonna push the thing down. You might have to use some pressure until it clicks into the cabinet. I usually need to use two hands to make that work. And we'll do the other side. So we're gonna put the back piece in first against the back plate and then we're gonna push it down into the cabinet until it clicks. And that's holding the whole thing together. And this is, this is on the Whirlpool Direct Drive Series 70, 80, and 90, which is a, a great washing machine. 
I also just put the uh, lid switch connector back in. I'm going to feed the console back into its little holes here. Push back a little bit, and then I'll put those screws back in. They're Phillips head screws, and they're going to come in at about 45 degrees. And be careful not to do this with too much pressure because it can break the plastic underneath the screw. Make sure you line the screws back up into their hole and just come down kind of lightly until the screw stops spinning, but not too much extra pressure. We're going to go ahead and put the trim plates back in. They just click into place. It's a really neat machine. Clicks right in. And that should do it. Now your machine will fill to the proper height. It won't overfill. And you'll be able to do laundry again. So thanks so much for watching. And please subscribe when you get a chance. Thank you.